Hey guys, so just a mini curl update. Um, so my curls are still going, guys. Like I haven't washed it still, um, since Saturday. So not the Saturday just gone, obviously, the one before that. So I don't even know what day that's on. Um, the video I posted on my Instagram page recently of my like day three curl refresh. Um, that's still kind of what I've been doing. So. I've been using a fine mist spray bottle rather than soaking my hair and I've just been spraying that on my hair while it's still in the pineapple section in it and then applying the Aunt Jackie's Quench Leave-In and the Aunt Jackie's Curl Ala Custard. Um, just one after the other in the two sections and that's it and my curls are popping still. Like, I'm obsessed with these products right now but I am going to wash my hair today. So yeah, I don't really think that my hair, I mean, my scalp doesn't feel itchy, my hair doesn't feel mushy or weighed down in any way, it feels really soft, it's really fluffy, even this top back section, which is usually really frizzy, I have definition going on here. So the reason why I decided to see how long I can stretch out my wash days is because I usually wash my hair every single Sunday without I don't skip wash days or unless I've been sick and someone recently suggested to me why don't you wash your hair every other week or I'll leave it for a week and a half and I thought I don't think my hair can do that but I really wanted to see if it could and I think I've been loving my hair more lately than ever like I'm going to be doing this more often no more weekly wash days I'm definitely going to stretch it and aside from how it's been feeling um, in those terms, I just think that a lot of people have been messaging me asking me how I stretch out my wash days and how I managed to make them last this long. And really, if you are going to be mixing products um, constantly, so you're going to jump from Shea Moisture to Can 2, you're going to use Shea Moisture for three days and then you're going to use Can 2 for the next, you are going to find that at some point these products are not going to work together. Um, I obviously have just literally been using the same two products all week. Um, I started on my wash day using these two and we're on I think day 10 and I've still just been using these two and I haven't found any issues. However, in the past when I've stretched out wash days for eight days, um, I've been mixing different products and we all know the back of the hand test, right? So the back of the hand test basically so yeah, sorry guys, I'm filming this on my phone camera, so excuse the jumps. Um, basically, the back of the hand test, so you get one product, you put it back of your hand, you put the next product on top of it, and you mix it. If you get clumps, you know that that product doesn't work um, together in your hair. If you don't, then it's good to use. So we know to do that test, but when we are mixing different... So if you styled your hair one day with a particular brand and a particular product, then the next day you want to use... A different brand and a different product you're not backhand testing that so you're just gonna dampen your hair or do what you do and then put this new product on top of old product that's already on your hair like that is not gonna be a good way to one test a product out and see how it works for you and secondly you just don't know what, what it's gonna do to your hair so you might end up finding you've got clumps in your hair and then you need to wash your hair not because your hair is washing, because you've made that big mistake. 